Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> give a double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. Um, salutations to you, brothers out there, pushing the truth and all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect out there that are striving and fighting. All right, out there. Shalom to you all. Peace and blessings to your families. And uh, I just want to speak on the, um, you know, on the topic. I was listening to the elder uh, Yashar Wamba from uh, Dallas, and uh, you know, I was just I listened to like the first few minutes of it, and you know, it, 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 I just thought about it. And, and as I was reading the book of Luke the other day, uh, you know. Yahweh Shai, the Jews, man, it was the Jews. It was your own people. Uh, you know, we get on Esau, which we're supposed to. But when Yahweh Shai was was being persecuted, his own people did that. When they gave him up to the Gentiles. Pilate said This is an innocent man Herod The Edomite Said I have found no fault in this man But guess what It was the Jews Who said no 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 Give us Barabbas Speaking on the topic of being Being hated of your own people a situation with the elder Manati Zatba yesterday was when, when you know the situation where the, where the dude was preaching on the, on the opposite corner that, uh, across the street from him you know and, and, and these are the prophet killers man these are the men these are the, the children of the prophet killers this is that generation. This is the generation that Yahweh Shai spoke about, man. That wicked, adulterous, prophet killer, nigger generation. That unfaithful generation that the Lord was talking about. That's these niggas. And guess what? They're in the truth now. They know that they're Israelites. And you're going to have more of these little GMO Generation Z babies pop up. And, 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 and do things like this You know and, and it, this, this When you read the story of Yahweh Shai Where it, all through his story The, 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 the contention the, the, the pressure Was was with his own people They always had something to say They were following him around Sending spies And trying to figure You know Just trying to trap him up in his words They wanted to condemn him of course, it was biblical prophecy, but it, it, it was his own people. So who has the greater sin? Those, those of you who were given the truth? Because Esau, Esau Edom going to get his judgment regardless. Esau Edom is, is the sword of the Heavenly Father. He's here to put hell on Israelites. He's a sword. Esau wasn't given the law, statutes, and commandments. Esau is a beast. He's a beast man. You Israelites are going to get it. That's why the, the most I say uh, in Amos 3, out of all the families of the earth, you have I known. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. You. You Israel, the Jews When the Jews, back, you know, I'm calling you Jews I'm, I'm talking to all the tribes Right now But the Jews are the, uh, are the uh, southern kingdom In which they did call all the Jews uh, They call them Jews too But I'm talking about southern kingdom the, 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 uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi
But nevertheless, you 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 tribes, y'all gonna get it, man. And brothers, these are the prophet killers. And and, and the elder Yashawamba was going into it a little bit. I listened to a little bit of it. I gotta finish it up. You know, it, it, it's weird. It's weird now. You know, you, it's like Jake just just can't help but to he, he, hey, what did what did what did Yahushai say? Fill ye up in the measure of your fathers. <laughs> hey, you know, I wish I say, you said that if you were in the time of your fathers, you wouldn't have killed the prophets. Y'all you know, wish I say, I tell you, you are the children of them that killed the prophets. Meaning, you were them because you are your children. You come back through, the, through your same your lineage, and those men were the same men in the reincarnation. In the regeneration that killed the prophets And Yahweh was letting them know that And guess what brothers These men are back The prophet killers are back These men physically killed the prophets They don't want to listen to, to, to the prophets We all know who the prophets are You think they're trying to listen to the prophets? No These men are going to physically try and kill us No, not going Esau too, but that Jake, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, these men that know that they're Israelites are going to try and kill us. They can you, you gotta they gotta fulfill it. The thing that have been is that we shall be, and there's no new thing under the sun. Scenarios reincarnate. People reincarnate. History reincarnates itself itself. You cannot do Something else that you that the Lord have locked in your spirit, and you can see that the the that that, that if that nigga it, it could get away with killing that, the elder, he would do it. These niggas want to kill us, man. Brothers, don't think for a second that these niggas don't want to kill us, man. I've been saying this since since uh, uh, a couple weeks now. The brother uh, uh, when we preaching over the. Preaching the other week, probably about uh, three weeks ago, a month ago, after Alazar, uh, the, the the head of Sakari, talking about uh, Louis Farrakhan was a uh, was a was a, was a leader of, of Israelites. I said, oh man, I said these niggas. They, hey, if we went to a cookout with all the Israelites, who do you think would they try and kill if we all went to a cookout? What group of people would these Israelites link up and try and kill? These niggas would, would, would tr these niggas, uh, <laughs> they'll try and kill us at a cookout, man. They already be strapped up. They be having daggers on them and shit. <clears throat> the sword already on them. We go and rebuke you at a cookout. Or if we, let's say we all go to a cookout together, you know, they, 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 they be wanting us to all come together. Y'all would kill us, man. And they would say, no, we wouldn't kill you, brother. That brother, 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 that, that's all. A, it's a front. These dudes, they, they want to harm you, man. Don't think that that's why Yahweh Shai say, who is my mother? Who is my brother? Because these guys, hey, just because a brother say, hey, you say Salawam, that don't mean he your brother, man. Don't let that brother, brother, oh, brother, oh, brother, oh, brother, brother. You better be careful. Cause these niggas, the, the prophet killers are back. And just cause he prophesying on the corner telling people they're Israelites, that don't mean he ain't a prophet killer. <clears throat> that don't mean he ain't, he ain't uh, persecuted the prophets in his past life. Many shall say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. Remember. That's all I had. I just wanted to speak what was on my spirit. He, you can see the, 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 the Looking, looking in man's eyes, man. He really, he wanted to harm that elder, man. If if there was no police, <laughs> if that was Jacob's trouble, that man probably would have pulled a sword out and tried to kill you, elder. These people hate us, man. They hate us with a passion. And guess what? They're Israelites. Shalom.